It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you for being a part of this Last Days Church community here on this ministry channel of Signs of the Last Days. And thanks to all of you who are supporting this Signs of the Last Days ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. It is you praying and you giving that supports this ministry to be here and to continue. As we are watching with you and praying with you, as signs of the last day's prophecies reveal, we are nearing the appearance of Lord Jesus for his church, and it's time to get ready right now. There's news where there are signs of eye-bleeding Ebola-like viruses growing among the beasts or animals of the earth and spreading into the nations manifesting in people. And in the soon coming apocalypse, foretold in the revelation of Jesus Christ to the world, it is foretold that there will be plagues of blood, including pestilences of blood, upon the earth for their rejection of the blood of the Lamb, Christ Jesus according to the preaching of Jesus and his chosen apostles in their Holy Bible scriptures. Recently, there has been news of Ebola-like hemorrhagic viruses appearing in animals and in people. For example, the Lassa virus is an acute viral hemorrhagic illness which causes bleeding from the eyes, ears, or mouth and causes death. It is known to be transmitted to humans from rodents, and then people can pass it on to each other. The virus is in the same family as Ebola and has now spread through several African countries, and it is currently listed on the World Health Organization's list of notorious pathogens that have epidemic and pandemic potential. <clears throat> And in recent weeks, the virus is reported to have come to Europe in Paris, where a soldier who returned from abroad is now being treated at a hospital. And this is happening as Nigeria is having one of the worst outbreaks of this virus on record this year, with thousands of people falling sick from what they call the horror rat fever that causes bleeding from the eyes, ears, and mouth. Hundreds of cases have been confirmed with about a hundred people dying so far. As officials there have launched a program to try and curb this deadly virus's spread. But alarm bells are going off in Europe as hemorrhagic virus like Ebola has also been found in the rodent population of Sweden with doctors baffled as to how it ever got there. And then it also manifested in Spain where just weeks ago a person died from an Ebola-like hemorrhagic virus after going on a woodlands hike. As these pestilent blood viruses are manifesting hundreds of miles away from each other, with it not known how it's spreading there in Europe. And it was only just a few years ago in this 21st century that the hemorrhagic virus of Ebola, which causes bleeding from the eyes, our ears, and mouth, and then death, that it was setting records in Africa, where a Dangerous outbreak raced through Africa in an epidemic that swept through Guinea, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and others, and it killed over 11,000 people. And then jumped to countries in other continents as Europe and the U.S. As the outbreaks in Africa, they set records, like in the Congo, where they had the worst Ebola outbreak in their history, where the war and pestilence together in that country was so out of control that it caused doctors to have to 
flee for their lives. And in this time of modern travel around the world in just a day, the deadly virus of the pestilence also spread to Europe, like in Sweden, Italy, and Spain. And it also spread to the UK and to the US as well, to where the World Health Organization said that the world has now entered a new phase where they said outbreaks of deadly Ebola-like hemorrhagic diseases are now a new normal, where they said that the world is seeing a very worrying convergence of risks that are increasing the dangers of diseases of pestilence where there are changes in the environment coupled with emerging diseases percolating underneath while at the same time governments are challenged with division and conflict, which are the conditions for the world to have entered a very new phase of high potential for recurring epidemics of Ebola-like diseases of the blood in humankind. And this is what the Holy Bible prophecies foretold. The Holy Bible prophecies foretold that this would happen in the last days to where the environment would come to exist in the world with this perfect storm of conflict, food, and medical scarcity with divisive political issues and then also pestilences to where the Revelation prophecy in chapter 6 describes that it will be like horsemen of an apocalypse riding through the earth to where there is a fiery red horse of war that is given power to take peace from the earth as people fight and kill each other in conflict. And then also comes a dark black horse of famine where there is food scarcity and People cannot afford food. And then also comes the pale horse of death who has power to claim the lives of people, to wear through the war, the famine, and then pestilences from the beasts of the animals of the earth. This revelation prophecy of the four horsemen of the apocalypse shows the progression of events in the last days that will lead to pestilences of blood that are apocalyptic. We're in a soon coming apocalyptic time foretold in the revelation of Christ Jesus. There will be plagues of blood, including pestilences of blood, upon the world for them rejecting the saving blood of the Lamb of God, the Lord Christ Jesus. In his born-again salvation of water, blood, and spirit. <clears throat> Whereas 1 John chapter 5 says, These three agree as one on the earth in the born-again salvation that was preached by Jesus Christ and his chosen apostles in the acts of their preaching. In John chapter 3, verses 3 through 5, and in the acts of their preaching in Acts 2, verses 37 through 39, where they said that it is required to be born again of the water and of the Spirit through the Lord Jesus Christ so to enter the kingdom of God. And now we see the signs that there are hemorrhagic virus pestilences of blood that are Ebola-like with bleeding from the eyes or ears or mouth that are down percolating growing among the beasts or animals of the earth, restrained for now until the prophetic time of the horsemen of the apocalypse riding through the earth after the church of Jesus leaves the world as Revelation describes. And these events and conditions happening now in the world that we have just shown you of these blood pestilences that are rising in the world. They are warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age, revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance 
of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church, so to be saved from the wrath of the vengeance that is to come. By obeying the commandment of the Lord Jesus in John chapter 3 and verse 3 and John chapter 3 and verse 5 where Jesus said, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. And Jesus declared that you must be born again of water and spirit or one cannot enter the kingdom of God. And Lord Jesus sanctioned only his chosen apostle in Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 to 19, to tell us how to be born again, where he gave his apostle the keys to the kingdom of heaven. For the Lord Jesus saying that one his chosen and sanctioned apostle preached was bound, recorded in heaven, which is eternal for his church. And in the Acts of the Apostles preaching, in Acts chapter 2 in Jerusalem, and in Acts chapter 10 among the Gentiles, and in Acts chapter 19 to the Gentile nations, the chosen apostles of Jesus preach how to be born again of water and spirit through Jesus Christ as Lord Jesus commanded. And these prophetic signs we're seeing now of the last day's prophecies, they are warning us how imperative it is to get ready now for the appearance of Lord Jesus according to what Lord Jesus and his apostles actually preached in the acts of their preaching in their Holy Bible scriptures. And if you need help finding someone to biblically pray for you and baptize you according to the preaching of Jesus and his apostles in the Bible, you can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org where in the footer at the bottom of the page you will find our email address there. And you can email us giving us your name of your town, your state, and also your zip code. And we'll do our best to help you find a location in your area for biblical prayer and baptism. Please be looking for our next Watch and Pray live stream as our Watch and Pray live stream on this Sunday evening where we plan to share then more amazing signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel and click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Significant, important prophetic signs are happening now in world events, which for the biblical believers of Lord Jesus, as Lord Jesus said, is telling us to keep looking up as the signs show that our redemption is drawing near. Signs of the times are everywhere. There's a brand new feeling in the Draw 